the item which I have chosen to deliver is related to four important language skills or say communication skills called LSRW. I have already spoken about these four letters and the significance of these four letters in the class. As you know that L stands for listening, S stand for speaking, R stand for reading and W stand for writing. So listening, speaking, reading and writing. What else is communication? Nothing except these four. Unless you listen, you hardly speak. Unless you listen and speak and identify the letters you cannot read. Unless you go through listening, speaking, reading, you cannot be a good writer. You cannot write. Even if you have capability to write, you are born genius to write, but you, you experience an ability to write anything if you do not listen, if you do not speak, if you do not read. So LSRW are the letters, uh, but they uh, refer to the major concepts of what we call human communication. Communication I need not to ex explain, but you see, if you see in exchanging the views or while sharing your ideas and exposing your language skills, you need to expose these four important skills. Unless you maintain these four skills in your life you cannot reach to a level you call that you are a good communicator that you are a person who exchanges the views that you are a person with some ideas that you wanted to share and the person with language skills with these uh, qualities in you and you identify these qualities you start showing that you are a person with human communication which i have already defined in terms of social act in the previous lecture it is a kind of uh, soft skill it is a kind of uh, professional skill so human communication is not a, a common activity it seems that it is a common activity but it is not so it requires a proper training to be a person with effect at your workplace so we should understand the spirits the important qualities the the way uh, listening should be defined, listening should be practiced, speaking should be defined, speaking should be practiced, reading should be defined, reading should be practiced, writing should also be defined, it should also be practiced. Unless you understand a word and you implement the meaning of that word in your practice, you are not a person of using those skills. So if we see listening as a skill, if we see speaking is as a skill, reading as a skill, writing as a skill, then you hone your ability to work at a workplace or a job place. So let's see LSRW as four skills of language learning. You can also see that uh, how uh, LSRW is a component of communications, be it verbal or non-verbal or para-verbal. I will explain how para-verbal communication is different from non-verbal communication later. When you see this slide, I have explained how uh, listening is connected to linguistics. 
how speaking is connected to linguistics how reading is connected to linguistics how writing is connected to linguistics so entire process of communication is very very much related to linguistics so uh, in a way if you define in terms of linguistics the lsrw will be defined in that way when linguistics is a systematic study of language components and constituents of language and application of constituents of language lsrw is used as tool to express human communication or language skills in linguistics what do you study you study phonetics you study semiotics you study morphology you study syntax i have explained to you the basics of these four important uh, branches of linguistics in the previous uh, classes and uh, in the previous uh, 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 video lecture too so these branches are explaining uh, uh, teaching us to uh, understand the sounds the 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 meaning uh, the word formation the art of word formation uh, syntax means the grammar of a particular language okay so these four branches are where where these four branches teaching you to hone in a language lsrw are four skills of language acquisition and learning let us explain it lsrw are four skills of language acquisition language acquisition means you you adopt a language you 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 take uh language as a medium to explain your ideas okay uh and how do you explain that idea unless you you understand someone unless you understand something unless you understand yourself you are not able to explain so understanding includes everything for example unless you listen a sound and you identify that sound you are not able to explain about that word embedded with that sound unless you understand a letter and the meaning related to that letter or the combined combination of that letter you are not able to speak unless you understand what that letter means you are not going to frame your idea unless you understand the value of a word which is being taught under the head of morphology you are not going to speak unless you understand in what way that idea was explained with what kind of sentence it was explained and what kind of para verbal meaning is there in that structured sentence unless you understand these four means the sound the sign system or the meaning the word formation and the way the words or the sentences are structured and uh, they are told they are explained they are spoken you are not going to frame any idea and what help you to frame the idea listening only listening no if you listen and you are not able to speak then the listening act seems futile if you speak only what will you speak unless you listen nothing what will you write unless you read nothing so these four skills are unavoidable skills in human communication process thus lsrw are four skills of language acquisition and learning in this slide i have come to explain why listening is important and where the communication scientist has put in an order of communication and how it has been explained by them the communication scientist defined listening as the first important skills in a language acquisition or learning listening affect all other constituents of human communication or say other three language skills which i have explained a bit uh, about speaking reading and writing listening influences the spoken english and the style of speaking of an individual 
more than it can influence reading and writing. I hope you understand how it is. I have spoken to you something and after listening to me, you frame your idea and you start questioning me. Whether you question to express your misunderstood concept or you question to clarify your doubt or you give a secondary opinion about what I have already spoken to you. All these are somewhere are the reflections of listening only because you listen to me and you frame your idea. Listening influences the spoken language and the style of spoken language as well. Another example is related to how listening influences the lifestyle and it orients the linguistic ability in an individual. Take for exam example, a child is born in remote area of the most backward site of a rural area and next day he or she is carried away from that place and kept somewhere in the US and England for coming 10 years. After 10 years, if you meet that child, you imagine in which language he or she will speak. It is simple. He or she will be speaking in English or in a language in which his upbringing could be possible. Why? The answer is only one because the child listens a language since his or her birth and the social environment where she or he is brought up that environment influences the lifestyle and linguistic skills of that child. This justified case study needs no other witness. It relies on the common sense of an individual that a person or a child is born in a remote area of a village away from that environment for 10 to 12 years and after that you meet the child he or she will be found to speak in a specific language she or he has been brought up it, it justifies how listening orients linguistic skill habits of mind and generates same culture where she or he has been brought up. Opportunity to frame your ideas. And that the that idea are only the contents which you share publicly. In next lecture, we shall discuss the difference between uh, listening and hearing. So thank you. Stay home. Stay learning. Stay healthy.